Anyone who's here to do some bell ringing? Yeah? Cool, right, my name's Rachel. I'm a ringer from Sussex and Birmingham and I'll be your tour guide here today. I'm going to show you around everywhere and um, you get to have a go on the tower bells and even some small hand bells as well. So, who's excited? Me. Yeah? Cool, so, right, before we go in, uh, two things you need to remember. Always keep your feet on the floor at all times, so even when you're sat down. And um, don't touch anything unless you're told to, basically. So, are we guys ready to go inside? Yeah. yeah. Cool, right, follow me. As you can see, uh, there are all the ropes there. Um, can you guys count how many ropes the tower has got? Uh, don't forget the, the others up there. Ten? Yeah? You all think ten? Yeah. Right, that's correct. So there's ten bells here at Mosley. Um, so the heaviest bell here is nearly one ton, which is kind of pretty much the size of a family car. The way bells are made is known as casting. So um, thousands of bells in the UK and across the world have been cast by many founders. Wow. 1,600 years. So the three heaviest bells here um, were made in 1950, so they weren't as old as you guys actually thought, so they're 72 years old. Uh, they were cast by Gillett and Johnson. And then there are seven other actually quite new bells which were casted in 2012, so they're pretty, pretty new. Um, and they were made by John Taylor and company. I've now been told that there are some bell ringers of the group. Um, right, who rings? Who actually is a bell ringer? One, two, three, four. Wow, I got five. Um, can I have a volunteer, actually, out of the five? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> we'll, we'll be asking volunteers later. Yeah? Do you want to do a demonstration for us of how to ring a bell? So whilst she's doing that, I'm basically just going to explain a little bit on how the bell actually works. Now watch carefully because I might ask you questions. So this, this bell, this, the bell there is sitting with its mouth facing upwards. So you might traditionally think of bells looking like that. Okay? Now the bell is being put into a vertical position so it's poised and ready to ring. And what's going to happen is Max, Max is going to pull the rope down and it causes the bell to spin through 360 degrees to the other side, that when it gets to the other side, the, the clapper, the bit that hits the bell, flicks across and it sounds. And then Max will pull the bell, bell rope again, and it spins around the other way, the clapper goes across and it strikes again. So basically what Max is gonna do is spin a big lump of metal, half a car, through 360 degrees, and it will strike each time it gets to the top, okay? So go on, Max, go for it. If we could have the five bell ringers who are here, and maybe one other, plus Charlie, and what we'll demonstrate is, is the bells just ringing in order. Look to, trouble's going, gone. Yeah? Are you all interested? Yeah. Great. So what we're going to do is there's two bits to the rope. So we've got the fluffy bit, which is called the sally. Yeah. So that's where you would normally you would catch with your hands. And then you've got this bit, the end of the rope, which is called the tail end. So you need to keep your hands on that at all times. So there you go. Good. Try not to look up. Just keep looking at me, as tall as I am. Okay, so you have your right hand above left, 
Okay. So, first question, are you right or left handed? Okay. And what's going to happen is your right hands going to go up to there. Okay, so. And then you're going to just bring them back this down. This is the tail end. Okay. It's not you're going such, to need to hold the tail end anyway. with yeah, your I'm left hand first, so and then on top of your right hand. And, this and is a, this basically, is what I want you to do is keep hold of this tail end at all times. Don't let go of it. Always keep hold of it, okay? Um, whoa. So what we want to do is, at that stroke, if you saw, we want you to stretch up. Let's go guys. Are you guys ready to see some proper bells? So I don't know. Oh, these, these ones over here are slightly, slightly, slightly lighter, but they, you have so to swing them quite a bit before the clapper underneath hits the bell. So this one here, basically, looks like that. So, so that's so that's the clapper. So the clapper hits always. Hang on, it's oh, I see. So. One three. One five. Um, so that is bell ringing. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please do tell your friends about your experience. Um, hopefully, if you enjoyed it, we might actually see you back here if you're keen and willing to learn. Um, but yeah, just have a great rest of your evening, guys, and thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.